Welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Let us observe this minimally edited surgery. After making the incisions, this is an air bubble filling up the anterior chamber. We can see this is a white cataract. To get some contrast, we are going to stain the anterior capsule of the cataract with this tripan blue dye. The dye should touch all parts of the anterior capsule. This is a bit of adrenaline and now the dye is washed out with the help of this 23G Simco and BSS. We can see there is very nice staining of the capsule in a very short time. And now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Now let us see capsulorexis with uterata forceps. The center of the anterior capsule is punctured with the tip of the uterata. We get a capsular tag. This capsular tag is guided anticlockwise all around and we get a round rexis. Since the nucleus appears quite hard, the rexis size is about 6 millimeter. And now hydrodissection is done. And the nucleus is mobilized. And now the anterior chamber is again filled up with visco. Let us observe the submarine chop technique in this case. Submarine means submarine chop means the tip of the phaco needle will go inside the nucleus and it will go through the nucleus towards the opposite equator. The some superficial cortical lens matter is removed, the handpiece is rotated, the bevel is up and now the nucleus is pushed a little down, the tip is buried in the substance of the nucleus, it goes through the substance of the nucleus towards the opposite equator. And as it reaches near the opposite equator, the chopper is used to get a nice crack. Now I rotate the nucleus 180 degree and separate the two heminuclei completely. Then on heminucleus is divided into two large fragments. Then the other heminucleus is also divided into two fragments. And now each large fragment is pulled at the center of the anterior chamber at the iris plane and it is emulsified. Each large fragment is subdivided into smaller pieces by the chopper. Uh, now, this is the third fragment. At this time, I am trying to detach the epinuclear shell and using it as a cushion for the, like this. Get the, only the nuclear mass, the epinucleus is protecting the PC. And once the nucleus is removed, use a little lower vacuum and little bit of ultrasonic energy to remove this epinuclear shell. Hardly any cortex in this case. Anti chamber is filled up with visco. I'm going to use a B cartridge, so enlarging the main wound a bit just by on cart and a single piece monofocal aspheric intraocular lens has been selected in this case. A little bit of cortex was there, it was removed. And now planning to implant the intraocular lens. The cortex has been nicely removed. The anti chamber has been filled up with visco, so uh, I didn't do hydro implantation in this case. And now here goes the intraocular lens. The haptic goes in the bags, bag, both the haptics go into the capsular bag, and the haptics conform to the uh, equator 
of the capsular bag. And now a viscoelastic substance that has been used for implantation of the intraocular lens is being removed. Uh, first 23G Simco has been used, now this is uh, bimanual irrigation aspiration. We must remove the visco that is behind the lens, that means between the intraocular lens and the posterior capsule there is some visco trapped. We must remove that in all cases and all the visco from the anterior chamber, anterior chamber angle everywhere wherever there is visco molecule must be washed out. This is a bit of moxifloxacin and now corneal stroma is hydrated with BSS and the side port closes nicely. If we do not stress the wounds, the wounds are usually self sealing. The main wound has not been stressed at all and it will seal automatically, it will not require any hydration. That gingiver is nicely formed. Integrity of the wounds are checked by BSS, uh, by a cotton tip Johnson Bard, and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy, and great surgical competence.